there can be a love-hate relationship with our natural hair. Some have mastered how to care for their natural hair while others scream at the top of their lungs because they can't figure out why their hair is dry or why their hairstyle is not coming out the way they envision. So for those who have this problem, and even if you don't, in this series, we will cover the structure of hair and how to achieve and maintain your healthy, wavy, curly, or kinky hair. No matter who you are, your race, or even your gender, everyone has the same hair structure. However, the way your hair grows out of your scalp differs in pattern from straight to wavy to curly to kinky or coily hair. Because I'm a visual learner, I figured that there would be those out there that would love to see an attempt at art by yours truly, don't judge. But most importantly, I will cover the structures and their brief descriptions so that when you hear the structures names and terms, you will know what they are and how they function. Hair has two separate structures. The hair follicle, which is within the skin, and the hair shaft, the actual structure in which we see that's above the scalp. The hair follicle is located in the dermis of the skin. At the base of the hair follicle is the dermal papilla. The dermal papilla contains blood vessels that supply nourishment to feed the hair and help it to grow. Surrounding the papilla is a pear-shaped structure called the hair ball that lies at the base of the hair follicle. Unique cells in the hair bulb, called melanocytes, produce pigment that gives hair its color. This pigment is called melanin. In the upper follicle, a sebaceous gland is linked with the hair bulb that secretes an oily substance called sebum. This sebum helps to keep the hair conditioned. This is the structure that we actually see. It consists of layers of fused, dead, keratinized cells and binding material in conjunction with small amounts of water. Keratin also makes up the skin and nails. This keratinized protein is flexible with tremendous strength and elasticity through a chain of amino acids that form a helical or spiral shape. The hair shaft is made up of three layers, the medulla, cortex, and cuticle. Now let's take a look at the three separate layers. Now the medulla is located in the center of the hair. It can be a hollow tube or filled with cells. It is absent in some people, fragmented in others, and continuous or even doubled in others. It is present in those with coarse thick hair. So it is possible that curlies do have a medulla. The cortex makes up the majority of the hair shaft lying underneath the cuticle. It is made of many fibers that are twisted together. The cortex contains all color pigment or melanin. The cortex is where changes take place when hair is blow dried, permed, relaxed, or even bleached. The cuticle, the outside layer of the hair shaft. It is very tough and holds the hair together. The cuticle covers the hair and has a great impact on the appearance of the hair. It can be damaged by strong chemicals or harsh treatments like heat. When chemicals or heat damage the cuticle, the cuticle is broken and will open up allowing these harsh treatments to be absorbed in the cortex. As a result, the hair will look and feel rough and lackluster. The scales will be closed, tight, and flat, and appear healthy when the hair is undamaged. Hair drawn is a cross-section of the three layers. Let's take a look at a number two pencil. It is great to compare to that of the structure of hair. The graphite, which is in the middle of the pencil, is similar to the medulla. The wood of the pencil is similar to the cortex of the hair. The yellow painted outside of the pencil, or the color part of the pencil, is similar to the cuticle. Now that we've covered the very basic structure of hair, let's dive a little further and take a look at why our hair curls. 
click here on our part two series entitled, What Makes Hair Curl? Be sure to check out our web and social media sites in the description box below. As always, it is appreciated if you like, comment, and subscribe.